I want to greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and uh, I am Pastor Samo Wainaina ministering under Bishop Simon Kanier and I want to welcome you to our today's uh, service and I want us to look at a title of our message today which is a festival God uses and I want us to read 2 Timothy chapter number 2 verse 19 to 26 but for now I'm going to read only three chapters verse 19 it says nevertheless God's solid foundation stands firm sealed with this inscription the Lord knows those who are his and everyone who confesses the name of the Lord must turn away from wickedness verse 20 in a large house there are articles not only of gold and silver but also of wood and clay some are for noble purposes and some are for ignoble verse 21 if a man cleanses himself from the latter he will be an instrument for noble purposes made holy useful to the masters and prepared to do any good work that is our reading this day and I want us to look at a vessel God uses. According to what I have read, Paul uses an illustration of a great house, or a large house, or a big house. And he described that big house as the professing church. So when Paul is talking about a large house or a great house, He's actually talking about a professing church. Paul says that this great house has the foundation of God. It is God who laid this solid foundation and it means that the Lord's church is founded upon a lock and the lock is Jesus Christ. Matthew 16 verse 18, it says, Upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So, friends, it is good for us to understand that Jesus is the lock. He is the true foundation. And any church which is built on this rock will not be shaken. A life built on this lock, that is Jesus Christ, will not be shaken. And I want to tell you that it doesn't matter how many problems that are going to come on your way. Storms will come whether you like it or not. But so long as our life is founded on this solid foundation that is Jesus Christ, then we are going to stand. Friends, if a marriage is built on as this solid foundation, it is going to stand. If a business is built on this solid foundation, it is going to stand. And it doesn't matter whether this business or this marriage or whether our lives are going to be confronted with the storms of life. But the good thing is that once we allow our lives, our marriages, our businesses to be built upon this solid rock, and that is Jesus Christ, I can assure you that we are going to stand. Paul further says that this great house has this seal. The Lord knows those who are his, and everyone who confesses the name of the Lord must turn away from wickedness. I thank God because any time when the Bible is talking about a seal, a seal is a mark of ownership and security. The church is purchased, a uh, purchased possession belonging to the Lord himself. So the church has a mark and that mark signifies that the church has been purchased by the Lord Jesus Christ. That is why Ephesians 5, 25 to 27, it tells us Christ loved the church and gave himself for it. And it continues to say for that he might present it him to himself a glorious church. Paul last tells that this great house has various vessels. Some are made of gold and silver 
and others are made of wood and clay and the purpose of these vessels it is for performing various functions paul tells us that some of these vessels are of honor and others are of dishonor i believe all of us as you are watching me our desire is to be vessels of honor not of uh, of dishonor our desires are to be instruments for noble purposes made holy useful to the master and prepared to do any good work i thank god because being a vessel that god can use is not confined to pastors it is not confined to preachers it is not co confined to bishops but it is for anybody who is ready to be used as an instrument of god and i thank god because today we can look at some of the qualifications that can make us to be first source that god want to use and the first qualification is that a first source god can use must be prepared and ready we prepare and get ready through number one purging ourselves or cleansing ourselves from ungodliness it is not god to purge us or to cleanse us it is not pastor's work to cleanse us it is not uh, anybody's responsibility to cleanse us or to purge us from any ungodliness but the bible says that any person who is going to cleanse himself he can be used of god and that is why it is very easy it is not difficult because the bible says in titus 2 11 for the grace of god that brings salvation has appeared to all men it teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled upright and godly lives in this present age so we have no excuse as to why we cannot live godly life because bible is telling us that the grace of god is available for all of us to all men and therefore this grace is the one which is going to help us and it is going to teach us to say no to any ungodliness and worldly passions the next a qualification that can help us to know the kind of vessel that god want to use is that a vessel god can use is a vessel which is focused and i thank god because first 22 says free the evil desires of youth and pursue righteousness faith love and peace when the bible talks about freeing uh, evil desires the word free simply means learning away from the word pursue simply means following so what we are supposed to do we are supposed to be vessels that god can use by learning away from youthful lust and as we learn away from youthful lust then we should be following righteousness faith love and peace the third qualification is that a person god uses must be a follower and that one you can get it in second timothy chapter number 2 23 to 26 and one character of a follower is that one must possess a christ-like spirit to help him or her to be used of god i thank god because we are called christians because we are supposed to be following christ and therefore the moment we have that christ-like spirit then we are actually uh, having that qualification or that quality that god is looking for so that we can be used as vessels of honor as i conclude i would like to say for god to be able to use us as vessels of honor we must be number one be empty number two we must be clean and number three we must be available when we are empty clean and available then god will take us and fill us and use us for his own glory so brethren 
friends of God, it is my desire and it should be your desire that you are going to embrace those qualities that God is looking for so that we can be first source of honor and we are going to bring glory to our God. May God bless us even as we take those qualifications. And as I have said, number one, a vessel of God, uh, a vessel God can use must be prepared and be ready. Number two, it must have, uh, it must be focused. And number three, it must be a follower of God or Christ for that matter. May God bless you. May God you do good in Jesus' name. Amen.